Hey everyone, today I'm showing you guys a really quick and simple DIY project. I'm going to be showing you guys how to take one of these really inexpensive wooden crates. You may have seen one of these around, maybe you even have one at home. And we're going to be turning it into a nightstand or an end table, however you choose to use it. If you guys like this video, make sure that you click that little thumbs up just below the video and don't forget to share it with your friends. Also, just a reminder, don't forget subscribe to my channel to keep up with all my latest videos. And once you have, you can click the little bell icon and you'll get notifications each time I upload a video to make it even easier for you guys to follow along. So now, let's get to the tutorial. So the first thing you need to do to your crate is measure down from the inside top and you're just going to draw two small marks, one towards the front and one towards the back of the crate on both sides, indicating where you want that shelf to sit. Once you've got those two lines drawn, you just want to take two strips of scrap wood and line the tops of those up along those lines that you drew on either side of your crate. Then you just want to fix them in place with some tiny finishing nails. I also recommend applying a little bit of wood glue under these strips of wood just to secure them a little bit more permanently so that they won't fall out, which you don't see me doing here. Next, you're gonna need your hanger bolts and your T-nuts. So grab one each of those, and starting on your first leg, you want to connect opposite corners with a line through the center to find that center point. Now that you found that center point, you can use the appropriate size drill bit and drill a hole down into your leg and drill about one inch deep. Now you wanna screw in your hanger bolt, the wide threaded side with the pointy end. And it's easier if you start trying to screw it in with your hand first. Once it starts to get too hard to do with your fingers, you can grab a pair of pliers to grip your hanger bolt and screw it in the rest of the way. So that half of the threading is sunken all the way down into your leg. For this next step, take one of your legs that you haven't screwed in your hanger bolt to, or you can use the opposite end that the hanger bolt is not attached to. Position it on each corner of your crate to create a square where your leg will sit. Once you've got those squares drawn out, you're going to use the same procedure to find the center of that square by connecting opposite corners with a line through the center, and then you're going to drill a hole right through the crate on those center points. And you'll want to use a large enough drill bit to create a hole that the protruding cylinder of your T-nuts will sink down into. Next, take your T-nuts and position one in each corner of your crate so that the protruding end and spikes are pointing down into your wood. And then you're just going to hammer those right down into the wood. It really helps to use a block to hammer it in and that way you won't get your crate all marred up from hammer markings. Now you can go ahead and flip your crate over to screw in your legs from the bottom of your crate. Now you can flip your crate back over onto those legs, insert your shelf, and voila! Now you have a nightstand that you can sand and finish however you like. Just a note that if you would like to cover up those handle holes or those T-nuts down on the bottom of the crate, you can cut extra pieces of a nicer wood to cover those up and attach those. But personally, for such a rustic look, I don't really think it's necessary. I think um, it looks neat as a crate table and the T-nuts kind of add to that sort of rustic look as well. And then you can either stain it or paint it or both. And if you'd like to see instructions on how I finished my tables to look very rustic like this, I will have those instructions over on my blog for you guys. And I'll leave that link in the description of this video down below. So I hope that you guys liked this video. And again, if you did, do all those good things just below the video. If you guys wanna come find me on social media, I'll have all those links in the description of the video. I hope that you guys all have a super awesome day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.